Work continues on improving a log jam of traffic on two of Springdale's most congested arteries through its town. You probably have seen the work in action. An overpass, many of you have been uh, seeing built over I-49 in that area, a project that will ultimately honor the legacy of a longtime resident there. KWA's Casey Smith live at that construction site. The hope is that this new east-west connection over the interstate will help alleviate a growing congestion problem in that area in case you found out if everyone agrees with that effort. Yeah, that's exactly right, Doug. In the 5 o'clock hour, I was on the east end of Springdale showing you kind of what that looked like. And I'm going to step out here, as you can see, on the west end where some people are coming through along 48th Street and Harbor Avenue right here. This is where that connection is going to be. There's going to be a four-way traffic stop with lights included. You can see they've dug out a ton of dirt, being able to level it out with the existing roadway. And from the people I talked to, one they're excited for uh, the potential to cut down on their commute time, while another can't help but think of the potential headaches. At the intersection of 40th Street and Emmett Avenue, drivers are forced to turn left or right, but soon they'll have an outlet to go straight on through. It's, it's an important project because of the connectivity it'll provide. There will be an overpass that will go up and over Interstate 49, and Springdale Mayor Doug Sprouse says the overpass will be named in honor of Dr. Walter Lefevre, who served on the Springdale Planning Commission before passing away in 2009. This is something that that uh, Walt Lefevre talked about a lot. It's much needed, and, uh, and Walt saw that a long, long time ago. That overpass will then wind its way through and pick back up here at the intersection of 48th Street and Harbor Avenue, providing another crosstown connection in addition to Highway 412 and Elm Springs Road. Give uh, people who, who uh, uh, live in Springdale and are going to Springdale destinations, uh, give them another route that uh, that will free up some room on, on those other routes. Jose Fernando, who lives on the east side of I-49 near that construction, says it takes him about 10 to 20 minutes to get to the other side of the interstate when traffic is bad. But when the project is finished... It's uh, easier for me and uh, faster. Um, it's, it's a fa faster exit for uh, reach to my de destination. But Tim Armstrong, who lives near the west side connection, thinks it'll create more traffic. Those people are going to get over here to this traffic light, which they're putting up. They're going to go across on the bridge. There's a traffic light on 40th Street. If they go straight ahead, there's another stop, uh, traffic light. If they go a little farther, there's another one. So where are they going to go? In the meantime, Mayor Sprouse reminds motorists to drive safely along I-49. They should always watch and kind of be mindful uh, driving under that. And motorists that are using Harbor Avenue and Emma Avenue in the meantime, they just got to be a little bit patient right now because the estimated time of completion is spring of 2025. Reporting live in Springdale, Casey Smith, KWA, Northwest Arkansas News.